This episode of Second Vermont is brought to you by Coldwell Banker, Hickok, and Boardman Realty. Okay, me and Art Hop. Where's your pumpkin? Um, I know. <laughs> so, so, Tooth Fairy Pumpkin. We'll see what else we get. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name's Ava Solberger, and it's Art Hop. That's right, the South End is buzzing. with the art hop fairy, Wiley Sophia Garcia. Look at her bustle! <laughs> look, at your, look at Wiley's bustle, isn't she pretty? I've gotten a lot of attention about the dress I'm wearing. Lots of people want to know what's under it. So underneath, wow, so we've got all these layers. look at you, hot mama! So there's like several layers here. May I have Clark help me put my skirt on? You can get that. Oh, it's sort of funny as my artist husband helps me. It's helping my bustle! <laughs> I sometimes call it sexy guts. It's like really gutsy. Um, it can look like intestines, it can look like body tissue, like connective tissue. It looks like female body parts. It does. It's the blush response, I think, is what it is. And then I feel like, aha, I have you. And a lot of times people will see the work from a distance and they'll be drawn in and they get up close and they're just like, what is going on here? I call myself an installation couture fiber artist because most of what I do is completely hand-sewn. I do a lot of things on a large scale. I also make a lot of dresses. I have always had fiber in my life. It's been something that I've been doing since I was really little. When I was in art school, I didn't really want to acknowledge it. I felt like sewing was too crafty and too like, it just wasn't good enough. And now it's like a daily, it's like a meditation or a daily practice. You know, I look at the past a lot. I look at um, sort of the turn of the century, the Victorian age, and how women passed the time. Women weren't allowed to do a lot of things. And of course they were high strung as a result of that. There were hundreds and thousands of women before me who were doing really similar things. And maybe, you know, they weren't allowed to say like, oh, this is about sexual frustration or oh, this is about sensuality. Women have always been able to express themselves through sewing and textile design and forms of expression through pins and, and you know, using implements like pins and needles. I make work that is about um, the female existence. My work is very feminine and I don't, you know, deny it and I feel like the, the feminine side of the work is what gives it power. So the big event that's happening tonight is Art Hop and this is my seventh Art Hop. I moved to Burlington seven years ago because I came to visit a friend during the Art Hop and there's a huge community and there's a big diversity and so I was completely sold. Like out of college I moved here and then that was, that was it. So here we are at Davis Studios. These are some of my students' work. So we're here at the Green Door Studio, original home of the Combat Paper Project. Here we are <laughs> at the E1 Studio Collective. And it was a collection of seven artists. It was a working space. It was a gallery space. We had monthly shows. It was really where I got my start. Art Hop is this like, I feel like it's the cap to summer. 500 artists open up their studios. The first Art Hop, it wasn't this big. Hopefully, with the help of an establishment of a South End Arts District, there will be commerce and business and tourists directed down here to see us as an entity. We're at the Space Gallery. Space, which stands for Soda Plant Artist Collective Environment, right in front of a fantastic Adam DeVarney. And as you come into the space, you have great greeters. You have John Brickles, who's a sculptor. Whoa! Whoa! Liza Cowan, who's right behind us over here. It's really amazing, and it gets better every second. Barbie. We're so beyond Barbie. <laughs> you got the good, the bad, and the ugly. The name of the show is Stuck, It's Devotion, Desire, and Destruction. Um, and this is the big launch of Backspace, uh, the first art hop. I actually use this old phrase, which is going to be an awful pun, but it's that we're cut from the same cloth. And uh, Wally Sofia Garcia and I, um, really created this amazing collaboration together. You know, we're both mothers, um, we're both artists, we both work with mediums that allow us to explore things that are really beautiful, but also things that have to do with um, sort of destruction and pain as well. Textiles and connections and 
a timeless journey through women's lives. start hopping. We'll get stuck in with you again real soon. You look great. You're, you're you. being stuck in Vermont. I am being stuck in Vermont. Hence the whole stuck element where that it's metaphorical but actual. You know, so I think that's it. And do you know what my video is called? It's called Stuck in Vermont. Yeah, yeah. we love it. <laughs> We're starting to outgrow our, our home now and we're just renting and we're getting married in two weeks so we want to start a new home together. To be represented by a realtor makes more sense now than ever. Oh, it's great. He does everything for you and explains everything. Your home is your largest investment that you're ever going to make. Take your time. You have to have fun with it. My goal as your realtor is to help you make a good decision that you're going to be happy with for a long time.